Hiya, I'm Lisa and today we'll be creating this fun retro style seamless pattern. I'll walk you through each step of the way and by the end of this video you'll have this pattern template available in three different colorways. So let's dive in. First we'll need to create a square canvas. So tap the plus icon and select the new canvas icon. And you can set the dimensions to any size you like. For me, I'm going to set the metric to inches and make it 12 by 12. When you've done this, tap the colour profile tab to open it. Here you will pick the profile that suits your project. The general rule is that for designs that are for any type of screen, you would select an RGB colour profile. But if your design will be printed in any way, then it's best to select a CMYK colour profile. Once done, tap Create. We will be making three different colour variations, so make sure you have your colours ready. If you'd like to use the same colours as me, then I'll provide the colour codes in the description box. Once we have our colours ready to go, tap the brush icon. This will open up the brush library. Find and select calligraphy. And select the monoline brush. Tap outside the box to close it. You can check the transparency and size of the brush on the left hand side of the screen and check that these are both set to full. Now draw a complete circle. But before releasing the pencil, tap the canvas with a finger to form a perfect circle. Then first release the pencil and then release your finger. Tap the transform tool. Inside the transform settings, set it to uniform. Then on the second row, tap the snapping icon. This will open up the snapping settings. Check that magnetics and snapping are both on and that the distance and velocity are both set to max. Tap snapping again to close it. Now on the bottom row, select fit to canvas. Deselect the layer by tapping the transform tool. By deselecting it, we lock the layer in and remove the risk of accidentally nudging our tile out of place. Now we need to drag the colour into our circle. But before lifting the pencil, drag it to the right to fill it completely. And zoom in to check it. Now open the layers panel by tapping the layers icon. Add a new layer by tapping the plus icon and set it to clipping mask. So tap the layer and select clipping mask. We will fill this clipping mask layer with our first colour. And merge the two layers together. There are two ways to do this. One way is by pinching them together. Another way is to swipe right on the subsequent layer and tap group. Double tap new group and select flatten. Duplicate the circle layer by swiping left on the layer and selecting duplicate. Then add a new layer. Then we need to set this layer to clipping mask. Tap colour and select your second colour and drag it onto the canvas. Open the layers panel and merge the two layers. Duplicate this flattened layer, add a new layer 
and set this layer to clipping mask. Go back to colour and select your third colour. Then drag it onto the layer. Open the layers panel again and merge the top two layers. Duplicate the circle again, add a new layer. We'll set this layer to clipping mask, then select our fourth colour and drag the colour onto the layer. Now open the layers panel and merge the top two layers. We now have four different coloured circles. Let's group these. Do this by swiping right on the remaining circles and select group. Double tap new group and rename it to base circles. Tap outside the box to close it. Then duplicate this group by swiping left on the group title and selecting Duplicate. Collapse the bottom group, swipe left and tap Lock to lock it. Then tap the visibility checkbox to hide it. You can duplicate this group whenever you need it without having to make the shapes from scratch. And with the colouring technique we just used, you can use this template to easily change the colours as many times as you wish and even add any textures. We will now work with the circle layers inside our visible group. Select the first circle layer, then tap the transform tool. Now drag the layer until it snaps perfectly to the bottom right quarter of the canvas. Check the orange guidelines for accuracy. When you've got it set, tap the transform tool to deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the next circle layer. Tap the transform tool and drag this to the top left quarter. Then deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the next circle layer. Tap the transform tool and drag it to the bottom left quarter until it snaps perfectly. And deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the last circle layer. Tap the transform tool and drag and snap it to the top right quarter. Then deselect it. Open the layers panel, double tap base tiles and select flatten. Select the invisible group and add a new layer. We will rename this layer and change to background colour. Go back to your colour palette and select the fifth colour. And drag it onto the background colour layer. Go back to the layers panel and select the top tile and duplicate it four times. We will use these five tile layers to form the base pattern tile. We now need to select all the base tile layers. Do this by swiping right on the remaining base tiles. And with all five layers selected, tap the transform tool and scale the selection down to an exact quarter of the canvas. Then deselect it. Open the layers panel and select the top tile. Tap the transform tool 
and drag it up until it snaps perfectly into the top left quarter of the canvas and deselect it. Now go back to your layers and select the next tile. Tap the transform tool and drag it to the centre of the canvas and then drag it to the right until it snaps perfectly. Then deselect it. Go back to the layers panel, select the next tile layer, tap the transform tool and drag it to the right half of the canvas and then drag it down until it snaps perfectly cropping off the bottom half of the tile. And then deselect it. Go back to the layers panel and select the next base tile layer. Tap the transform tool and drag the layer to the right half of the canvas. And then drag it up until it crops off the top half of the tile. And deselect it. Open the layers panel and merge all five base pattern tile layers together. Now duplicate this tile. And lock and hide the first one. Duplicate the visible tile three more times. We will now scale down each of these four layers to each of the four quarters of the canvas. So with the first layer selected, tap the transform tool and scale it down to one of the four quarters of the canvas. Repeat this same process for the three remaining base tile layers. Once done, open the layers panel and merge all the four visible tile layers together. Repeat the duplication and scaling down process until you are happy with the scale of the pattern. Now we will group the finished pattern with the background colour layer. If you have created multiple scaled down sizes, then swipe right on each of the scaled down patterns and the background colour layer, but not the previously locked tile, and tap group. And rename this group to Pattern Scales. And tap outside the box to close it. If you want the pattern in one colour, within the group, select the top pattern and add a new layer. And set this layer to Clipping Mask. And rename it to Pattern Colour. Now fill the Clipping Mask layer with any colour of your choice. If you have multiple sizes within the group, Repeat the clipping mask method with any of the scaled down pattern tiles. Open the layers panel, now duplicate the background colour. Tap, hold and drag it up, outside and on top of the pattern scales group and collapse the pattern scales group. Then hide it. We will now do the same with the lock tile layer. Simply tap, hold and drag it on top of the background colour layer and unlock it by swiping left and tap unlock. Then tap the visibility checkbox to reveal it. Here I will show you how to make the two colour variation Start by tapping the top layer and add a new layer. Fill this layer with one of your two colours.
Open the Layers panel and add another layer and fill this layer with the second colour. Now with this layer selected, tap the Transform tool and drag the layer to any side to crop off half of the layer and deselect it. Tap the Transform tool again and drag and snap it to the centre of the canvas and deselect it. Open the Layers panel and set these two filled in layers to clipping mask. And group all the layers. So with one of the layers selected, swipe right on the remaining three layers and group these together. And rename the group to two color base template. Now duplicate it. And with the first group, we want to collapse, lock and hide it. Then tap, hold and drag the group underneath the background colour layer. You can use this template to create other two colourways in the future. We can now flatten our visible group. With this flattened tile, we will create our two colourway pattern in as many scale sizes as we want. So now, repeat the scale down method we used previously. Duplicate the tile three more times. And scale each one down to each of the four quarters of the canvas. and merge all four layers. Duplicate for a copy and hide it. Then repeat the process until you have the pattern size you are aiming for. All of the templates we have made today make it easy for you to create unlimited colour combinations of this fun pattern time and time again. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you did and would like to make more with me, I have other seamless pattern tutorials here on this channel. They're easy to follow and provide you with the tools to confidently create seamless patterns within the Procreate app. So I hope you'll join me over there. But until next time, take care and bye for now.